Welcome back, Charleston. You're watching Navigate Your Wealth, brought to you by the team of Compass Financial. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley, here with both Karen and Sam, the dynamic mother-daughter duo. And today we are talking all about how you can remove your wealth from Washington. Do you even know what your tax burden is and how you can actually take steps today to potentially minimize it for yourself? And I said at the top of the show, there were two things that we wanted to establish up front. We discussed in the last segment the importance of people paying attention to their mm -hmm. potential tax bill and retirement. The second thing I think it's important to presence for folks is that you all are not CPAs, right. mm -hmm. you're not accountants, but what sets you and the team of Compass Financial apart is that you engage in strategic tax planning mm -hmm. for your clients. Talk about what that is and what that means for everyone who's watching yeah. today. Tax preparation is what a CPA does, right? Mm -hmm. That is what has already happened. That is in the past. They look at it on an annual basis to determine what has already happened. Tax planning looks to the future, and that's what we wanna do for you. We wanna make sure that you're not just looking at one year, but you're looking at your taxes over your lifetime mm -hmm. and looking at the tax burden that you may be facing in retirement. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a tax burden analysis that we run as part of your retirement roadmap. And this is so important. We actually have a chart that will show you what this will show your numbers. And so if we can bring that up on the screen, if you look at the left, this is a $1.5 million account. The blue chart on the left shows the strategy that most Americans take by doing an RMD. The total taxes that are paid on that RMD is $739,000. Then if they have reinvested those dollars because they didn't need them, there's the potential for $200,000 of tax. And of course, because that account is still taxable at death, there's an additional $659,000. That means that with the RMD strategy, you could be paying over $1.6 million. But if you look at tax efficient strategies and reallocate those dollars, you only have to pay the tax on the conversion. In this scenario on that 1.5 million, that's 442,000. Because remember, now that money is 100% in your name. It, it's so important to see that side by side. And, and just in case someone isn't familiar with RMDs, those required minimum distributions, they are required by the IRS. And there's been several rule changes about what age you have to start taking those RMDs. But it's not something you can get out of. The tax man is coming. Yeah. But if you strategically plan ahead, as you showed in that example, you can avoid those RMDs altogether. Well, and I want to point out that the RMDs are based on your life expectancy. Mm -hmm. So if that account is continuing continuing to grow because you get to kick the can down the road a little bit longer, your life expectancy didn't get longer. It mm. probably got shorter, mm -hmm. which means that the amount that you are going to be required to take is getting bigger. Mm -hmm. And if that amount is bigger, it means that the government is getting more taxes out of those same dollars. You know, when clients do that kick the can down the road thing, it's right. because they have noticed that, oh my goodness, I have this giant qualified account. Mm -hmm. You know, all the years that I was helping clients amass qualified funds, they'd finally hit the age of 60 and I'd say, okay, you can take the money out now. And mm -hmm. they'd say, but I don't want to. Mm -hmm. And I said, but why? And they'd say, because it's taxable. And of course, my first response was, please tell me you didn't just realize that it was going to be taxable now. Right. But again, they don't want to write the check to the IRS. Mm -hmm. And so it's so important to realize in the tax burden analysis, a picture is worth a thousand words, mm -hmm. yep. really puts in perspective for our clients what the major impact of this is. Mm -hmm. If you wait from 60 to re required minimum distribution age, that account is getting bigger for you, but it is also getting bigger for the IRS. Mm -hmm. The more you grow that account, the more taxes you are guaranteed to pay, as you saw in that example. 442,000 versus 1.6 million. Again, doing the Roth conversion, you have to write the check every year and pay off the IRS. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is like ripping off a Band-Aid. It's going to hurt. It's never fun writing that check. But the other option is death by a thousand paper cuts. Yeah. 
For sure, and you've used the term qualified accounts. I always like to think of that as if it's a qualified account, that means it's qualified to pay tax on it. You're gonna <laughs> yeah. have to pay tax on it, right? Other words that people use, tax deferred accounts, right? It's just important to understand. That's why it gets so confusing mm -hmm. when you hear qualified, non-qualified, but the bulk of Americans have the majority of their wealth saved up in these types of qualified accounts. 401ks, 403bs, traditional IRAs. This is why this is such an important conversation because so many people are gonna have to face this mm -hmm. sooner rather than later. And you know, you're absolutely right, Kristen, and one of the things that people have been brainwashed to believe, and we're partially responsible as financial advisors, mm -hmm. because we said put as much money away now while you're in your highest earning years mm -hmm. because you're gonna be in a lower tax bracket when you retire. Well, that's how it was all sold to us when mm -hmm. they but created But when I did plans, it in the yeah. 80s and 90s, the top marginal bracket was 70%, they are pulling it out today at a much lower rate. Still complaining, but they are pulling it out at a much lower rate. Right. But if you are 30 or 40 years old, first and foremost, I can tell you, you are not in your lowest tax bracket. Not just because we are in the lowest tax brackets of history, but because you're gonna make more over your lifetime than you're making today. So that's, you know, number mm -hmm. one fallacy. But we had a client that came to us, actually they'd been a client for a number of years, mm -hmm. and, and it just kind of came up that, but the amount of money I saved in making those 401k contributions was substantial. Mm. So we love running analysis, <laughs> right. and we decided to run an analysis for this client. And I wanna share the numbers with our viewers, and I'm gonna look down so I get okay. them exactly right. But this was an individual from 30 until 60, mm -hmm. so for 30 years, an average of $60,000 a year salary, he was able to save in his 401k $294,000, mm -hmm. okay? Made $294,000 of contributions. Right. Those contributions saved him over $73,000 in taxes at the 25%, again, average because mm -hmm. things have changed over that 30 years. The match that this individual got over that same 30 years mm -hmm. was a little over $88,000. Okay, so that free money they were able that to get. That was free yeah, money. So they right. got 88,000 of free money. They had $73,000 of tax savings. They themselves put in just shy of $300,000. Mm -hmm. At 65 years old, that account was almost $900,000, 895 thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Now, if you're like those clients where I say, okay, you're 60, you can take the money out now. And they say, oh, I don't want to take the money out because it's taxable. And you let that account grow, mm -hmm. which this client is not going to do, but we ran the numbers. Right. And at 72, presumably that account would be somewhere around 1.3, 1.4 million dollars. Wow. Here's the question you need to ask. Well, 1.3, 1.4 almost goes to your chart of mm -hmm. 1.5. Right. How much taxes do you think that individual is going to pay to get the money back out? Mm -hmm. Remember, the benefit up front was they saved 73,000 mm -hmm. and they got $88,000 of match. Sadly, the amount of taxes that they're gonna pay over their lifetime to get that money out is probably going to exceed a million dollars. Wow. So what seems like a good idea on the front end, mm -hmm doesn't always work out quite the way you thought. And I think, you, to your point, we've been brainwashed, right? That's how these plans were sold to us when they were created, that this was a really good thing for us, put the you know the money in now, you get the tax break now, then you'll be in that lower tax bracket when you retire, but because that's not happening, this is why we have to have this conversation. Yeah. It's looking ahead to the future and not just making short-sighted decisions in the present. Well, and when it comes to how long and how far in the future do we need to make decisions, we have clients that come to us and they say, let's run my tax burden analysis, but I wanna get this conversion done before the Trump taxes sunset. Yeah. Mm. But that may not be the best strategy. So when we sit down with you, we wanna look at every dollar that you have and make sure that when we're doing the conversion, does it need to happen before 2026? Is the ideal number five years, which this comparison that we showed you was over five years mm -hmm. of doing the conversion. We have a client who it made financially sense for them to do the conversion in one year. Wow. So again, yeah. each individual situation needs to be looked at. We mm -hmm. need to understand what is it that makes sense for your portfolio and for your conversion so that you can maximize 
those numbers. And that's why I know you're so excited to be able to connect with more individuals and be able to run your very own tax burden analysis. So again, the invitation for you is to not wait. This is a timely conversation. We are in a unique time with our tax code right now. And as Sam said, every plan is unique. Every situation is individualized and personalized. What's right for you? The way that you can find out is by getting a spot on their calendar to be able to meet with Karen and Sam to receive your very own complimentary retirement roadmap. Again, that number to call is 855-348-3073. Or again, you're welcome to scan that QR code and that will get you connected as well. More about how you can remove your wealth from Washington right after this.